Hello and good morning. Welcome to the new year. Um, I woke up and kind of didn't know what to do. I've been working like every day this last week. So today's my first, uh, well, I still have to go into work a little bit, but mostly I'm going to have today off. Um, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to go too much into it. I want to talk about this personal thing, but uh, this last year was pretty, it was a pretty big year for me. Um, I think I have talked about in other videos where, um, I really felt this year, I really felt like I had been stuck in the past. Um, uh, back in 2011, um, I moved back home from Austin. Uh, I had been on my own in Austin for a good, uh, 10 years, eight years. Um, you know, I'd been going to school and then after school, uh, I just got an apartment in Austin and started working. My brother moved up there with me. Uh, that's when, you know, I was living with Brad and doing the 4PP thing. And moving back into Houston, I uh, I kind of, I didn't realize it, but I must have been kind of depressed. And, I, and it's not this dramatic depression, but it's just one of those things where, you, you, you know, you look, I moved back and then like eight months later, I looked back on my on my time in Houston. I was like, well, shit, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> You know, I just sat around watching, watching movies. You know, I'd go to Blockbuster every night, record, uh, watch a couple of two movies, and then you know, go to sleep, and then go back to work the next day, and then swap out my movies for another couple of movies. You know, and then I'll, over the course of like six, eight months, I probably watched you know a shit ton of movies. Um, well, you'll probably hear me scratching my face. Anyways, um, same thing with. Uh, so a lot of the things I wanted to do back then, I had in my mind, and then all of a sudden, like I looked back this year, and all of a sudden I saw that I hadn't done a bunch of them, and then for some reason, which I won't go into, I got the motivation to do a bunch of that stuff this year, and even though that there are things that I wish worked out for me a certain way this year, um. It's a disappointment. It's really this this year. There was a huge couple disappointments because you know I really wish they had worked out, but they didn't. Uh, but it's fine because like I think it's important. Um, and I'm gonna do this this year for 2020, and maybe I uh, suggest you guys do it. Um, I, it's fine. I'm I'm always focusing on things that I want to get done, and I wish I could have got done, and thing you know disappointments and. Um, failures it's good to f not not obsess over it but focus on those things because you can push yourself to get it done but also it's one of those things where when you focus on that stuff too much sometimes you forget all the stuff that you have done or the stuff that you have been successful in and so i forget what book but i'm pretty sure i read it in a book where they were like make sure you write down all the stuff you get done like write it down write it down write it down and um yeah and then when you get it when you when you do get it done, uh, when you do feel like, oh man, I really didn't do anything, then you look at you can look back at it and be like, oh my god, look, look at all this stuff that I did. Shit, I totally for oh I did that too. I forgot. Oh yeah. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in this list of things I did this year to kind of like, because I'm curious. I'm really curious. There's a couple major things that I did this year that yeah i mean like when i think about it, it's like yeah dude even though things didn't go all my way and i didn't get w the the thing that i most wanted like man dude i really did do a bunch of stuff this year and i should be really thankful for thankful and happy <sighs> just for all the stuff that i you know that i was able to do because you know people are less fortunate there's been years in the past where i didn't do them it's like man dude yeah so yeah, so this is what I, I wish wish for you guys, I guess, moving forward. Um, it's not too late. I mean, for me, I'm the kind of person that's like, if you don't, like, like, um, oh, you got to start working out January 1st. Oh, you got to start eating healthy January 1st. Oh, shit, I missed it. Now it's January 3rd. So what? Just start January 3rd. There is, it's a huge, it's a weird mental thing where, like, people think, oh, well, I have to um there has to be, well, at least for me, I'm not gonna say people, how about that? There has to be some sort of like start and finish line 
but it's like dude you can start your start with a lot of this stuff your starting line can be can be any time it doesn't have to be the first of the month or the first of the year or the first of the week you know you just start whenever dude so if today's the first start it if if you're not if you don't see this video till like three months after the new year then start it three months after the new year man there's no better time to change yourself and better your situation than now because then just uh, I, uh I can't do it just do it you know do it you yesterday you said tomorrow and now it's tomorrow you say whatever you know you know what i'm talking about just do it well we'll see uh in 2020 it's going to be a good year man i'm going to put this video together hopefully you can check it out tomorrow of this video of things i did this year and yeah at at, at 37 38 i just decided to do these things and i did them so hopefully i mean hopefully you guys can do the same thing. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.